plus size luxury thank you for coming back to my channel or if you're new here welcome um, I just wanted to do sort of a riff on the tag video that's going around right now so the tag video that uh, Dale sent out and that I just did actually a couple videos back was five bags that I'm obsessed with I wanted to do a little riff and do five luxury items that I'm obsessed with right now so it ne doesn't necessarily have to be bags. I thought it'd be really interesting to check out some other things in the luxury space that don't get a lot of airtime on YouTube. So anyways, let's just jump right into the topic. I think this will be fun. So I'm just looking down at my notebook here. So the first item that I have been thinking about and I've had a tab open on my laptop for going on three weeks to a month now are the Salvatore Ferragamo green acetate sunglasses. I have two pairs or three pairs of luxury sunglasses. They're both like traditional black or brown. And I also really wanted to get a Chanel one in a classic black or brown color scheme. But when I saw these, I was just like, green is sort of my favorite color. Maybe I can do sort of a fun pair of sunnies. I thought the price point on these were really good too. I think they're like $225, which traditional luxury sunglasses are like 500 plus. Like for instance, um, my 1.1 millioners i think those were like 900 dollars and then i forgot what the other ones are called but i'll pop the name down below those were on like five to six hundred dollars and so when i saw these i was just like wow so it's a good price point i love salvatore ferragamo i think they're totally underrated and i just like the shape of them i think it's like very unique like i have a very wide face so i typically go for like something really big or rectangular so that I have my eyebrows showing that you can see some sort of angular, I guess to like contour some of the roundness in my face. <laughs> so um, that one, I really think I'm gonna pull the trigger on. My only hesitation is that some of their items go on sale. So I'm just like, should I wait to see if it goes on sale later this year, but then I don't wanna miss out. And like $225, like, sh uh, you know, it's not that big a deal. So we'll see, we'll see. The other item that I've been thinking a lot about is Shumet or Shumet. I don't know how to pronounce it. They have a line of jewelry called Be My Love. Um, hopefully next year, knock on a particle board, I might be getting engaged. And so I've been doing a lot of research on like what I want my wedding band with the engagement ring to be. And I want something unique. So I was thinking about maybe from something from Cartier or Van Cleef or something else. And then I stumbled across this brand and I really like the honeycomb design and the story behind the brand itself. Um, it's just, you know, it's just a really cute, like, you know, love theme. That's not the love ring. Cause I don't like the love ring. I think it's a little bit plain, honestly. So when I saw this design and the facets on it, I was just like, that is a really cute option. It'll be very unique to pair with my engagement ring. So fingers crossed. So I really like that. I really want to get a ring or I want to get the bracelet. And I think the bracelets would be really cute to stack in like rose gold, yellow gold, and maybe even the white gold, even though I don't own any white gold items, I thought it would be really cool to stack. And then the only issue that I have here on my notes is that it's nearly impossible to buy in the States. I think they used to have like maybe an online, on, sorry, I think they used to have like an online outlet somewhere that you could purchase them, but now they're completely gone. So I'm thinking when I go to Paris that this is something I'll definitely check out. I don't think I'll actually buy it there. I think it might be too much because I really want to focus on handbags and I know it's not going to be my last trip to Paris, so I don't need to freak out and like buy everything. But I definitely want to try it on in person and take some pictures because I really think the brand is stunning and that whole line that they have is very, very cool. So the next is another Shumei item. I'm not going to even bother pronouncing this because I feel like I'm going to butcher it. So I wanted to put the name on the bottom, <laughs> but I really was looking at their bracelet. So the bracelet they have for this uh, line um, of jewelry that they have at Shumei is really interesting. The story behind it is basically it's a cross and it's about human interaction and like how I guess that cross represents our connections with others. And I thought that was like a really like sweet storyline. And I also really liked the bracelet because a lot of bracelets from um, designer fine jewelry brands, when they have like a single motif, it's very, very dainty. And I feel like for my wrist, which is like a six and a half inch wrist, it would be too dainty looking, like almost childlike on my wrist. 
So when I saw this, I was just like, I like that it has the double chain. It's a bit wider. It also has like a diamond chip in there, which it's a tiny little diamond. It's a tiny diamond. But when you look at the price in euros for the bracelet with a little diamond in it, it's like much, much cheaper than any of the other more popular alternatives. And I was like, huh. And I don't want like, you know, this to be like, okay, I'm like driven by price all the time, but I think it's just a good value for money when you think of it's a French brand, a long heritage. I like the story behind it. I like that the single motif has a little body and a little bit more interest because of that double band around the motif. So it will look a little bit more substantial on the wrist. And then of course it comes with that little chip of a diamond, which I think is like 0 0.0001 or something, right? But um, I think it's interesting. That's something that I don't even know if I can wait to go and buy it in Paris because I just really have been obsessed with it. And I found it for on a pre-loved website and I feel like I keep on thinking about it. So I think I might actually get that one before I even leave, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so um, yeah, let's see. What's the next thing? Oh, okay, so the next luxury item that I'm really obsessed with right now, Dior comes out with sarongs almost every summertime, springtime, and I think they actually have like a all year round um, design in the Toit de Dream print that they release. Um, it's a huge, huge sarong, and it's only for about like five or six hundred dollars. Typically, they're other textiles, like maybe even a scarf or towel, they started at $1,000. So the price point is really good on this as well. And I just thought like, hmm, I can use that for a lot of different stuff. Like I could use it as like a shawl. I could use it as a towel. I think it'd be really cute on Instagram photos, like all sorts of things, right? So I think about that one. I have had it in like, you know, when you have like an open cart that you just keep in a tab and you just like, should I press the trigger on this? Like, should I get this? So um, I don't know, like I, I really like the idea of it, but I'm like, I need to stay focused on handbags. And then when I feel like I have some of the core pieces in my collection that I want, then I can get all this fun stuff. But yeah, that is definitely something I think is super cute and highly recommend. I just think for the size of it, it's a great buy. Okay, and so the final thing, um, I did bring this up in the handbag version of this tag. I was obsessed with what was it called again? Oh my gosh, I totally forgot the name of it, but I'll pop the name down here. But they also have, uh, Ferrer Lepage also has a wallet on chain style that I was thinking about. And this is, I think, considered their SLG section, so not a handbag. It's called the 12cc Wallet Night, or the 12cc Night Wallet, something like that. Um, again, I love the history and the playfulness of the brand. I think, again, that green canvas print is just really calling my name. I think it'll be really cute. Again, it's my favorite color, as you can tell. So that one I'm thinking about a lot. I don't know. So that one, I, I think I might wait again for my Paris trip just to see how it looks on the body because the chain drop seemed just a tad short. And I feel like, of course, I could switch out the chain, but then that defeats the purpose, you know? So. I think it's going to be a really adorable I want to check that one out and I have that and then the handbag that I'm thinking about as sort of like my top two items to check out when I go to Paris because I just think those are super special but again as I said in my handbag video they're having price increase after price increase so who knows if it'll be even a good buy anymore when I go to Europe so we'll see anyways I can go on and on about handbags and jewelry and SLGs all day. Um, thank you for watching my video and uh, look out for the next one. Thank you. Bye.